When you are just starting photography or video and you're looking to buy your camera, you probably might ask the question of which camera do I buy? There are many factors that go into these decisions. One of them being, do you want a full frame or crop sensor, which you may also heard as APS-C. Don't know what the heck I'm talking about? Stay right where you are and I'll be discussing these terms in this video. Hey guys, it's the Mini Full Tech here. So you may or may not have heard there being two types of cameras full frame and crop sensor. Full frame cameras tend to be more pricey and aimed at semi to professionals while crop sensor cameras are more affordable and marketed to beginners. My first camera was a crop sensor but at the time I like you had no idea there was a difference. Let's start with the frame itself and how it looks. On a camera that is full frame you essentially have more to work with in the shot because this sensor is larger while at the same distance an APS-C camera will look zoomed in and cropped due to the smaller sensor. Answer. They both can be 24 megapixels, but before mirrorless cameras were out, full frames usually were better for night and low lighting conditions. Today though, the Canon M50 and the Sony APS-C line are very amazing at handling low light, in-body stabilization, and overall image quality. So why is it important for you to know this? Before I answer that, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified on my next releases. So when you start buying lenses, you will need to check if the lens is made for full frame or APS-C to make sure the focal lengths are true. What I mean is I didn't know this when I first started and I mistakenly bought a lens for a full frame to use on my crop sensor. I was still able to use the lens, but it was a lot more zoomed in. So I had to compensate and position myself at a further distance from the subject. See on a lens that is a focal length of 50 millimeters, if that lens is full frame, it is 50 millimeters. But on an APS-C, the focal length looks more like an 85. As for the other way, using a crop sensor lens on a full frame, you will see this black curve on the edges. You can still get away with using the lens and just crop it out later, but I wouldn't as it adds another step in the process. These days, there are debates on whether full frame or crop sensors are better and I can't really say for sure which one I'd recommend. I'd base it off of your long-term goals and your current budget. My main cameras are full frame because I like having more to work with and my camera is a 42 megapixel allowing me to crop images in post. When I started my photography journey though, I used APS-C because the cameras were a lot more budget friendly and Sony didn't have their good lineup as they do nowadays. But for you, because you have more options, I look at what your goals are and how much you are willing to spend. If you want to go the route of dipping your feet into photography and seeing if you like it, I would get an APS-C. But even if you are thinking of taking things seriously, some of the APS-C cameras out there are used professionally. I feel it comes down to your personal preference to reach your photography goals. Anyways, thanks for watching this topic on full frame and crop sensors. I hope it helped you understand it a bit more. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.